Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Charity Pepazani. Here are your top stories this Thursday. Nine people are dead after a multi-story department store collapsed in Accra, Ghana. So far, 69 people have been rescued from the Malcolm store. The death toll is expected to rise. The area has been declared a danger zone by the government. Hundreds of rescuers have been digging throughout the rubble in the hope of finding more people alive. The Vice President, Kwesi Amisa Arthur, visited the collapse store which opened at the beginning of the year. He said the building collapsed just before the Malcolm store was due to open for business. The President of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, has suspended his election campaign for the next month because of the disaster. In Zimbabwe, the city of Bulawayo could see water rationing eased within days after the completion of a pipeline from Matebezi Dam. The pipeline will pump an extra 17,000 cubic meters of water into the very dry city. The Water Resources Minister Samuel Sepepe Nkomo announced the completion of the project on Wednesday. The news comes as Bulawayo is suffering from one of the worst droughts in recent years. The city has stopped drawing water from two of its five supply dams after the drop in water levels. The city council has been sending water tanks around the city to deliver water to desperate residents. In Zambia, five people are believed to have died in a road accident in Mumbwa when a truck collided with a pedestrian. Four of the deceased are thought to be members of the same family. The dead include a 17-year-old female, another age 29, and a four-year-old boy and a baby. The driver of the truck, Christopher Mulusi, 36, from Mumba district, was arrested pending further investigation. In Malawi, an MP has pleaded not guilty to a charge of intimidation at Blantyre Magistrates Court. Jeffrey Mtelemuka is the member of parliament for Blantyre City Southeast constituency. It is alleged that Mtelemuka intimidated his nephew and threatened to kill him after the two argued over a piece of land in Bangwe Township. He is said to have threatened to use his licensed pump gun on his nephew, Frank Kabolani. The case has now been adjourned to the 3rd of December. If convicted, Mtelemuka risks losing his seat in parliament and would have to wait for seven years before contesting any public office. In showbiz news, another Big Brother Africa star is in the headline. Last week, we talked about Maneta and her social media comments. Her fellow Zimbabwean housemate, Rocky Joshford, is now in, this, in the news after splitting with his dancer wife of two years. Rocky and Maneta were both kicked out of the reality show house for fighting with each other. Rocky's wife, Melody Masekiwa, claims that her husband has changed since Big Brother and has been embarrassing her in front of her friends. In another special feature, Liam talks with a Zimbabwean blogger about his new project that aims to promote debate in Zimbabwe via the social network site Twitter. <laughs> Thank you, Charity. Well, on today's special feature, we're talking about social media. Now, you all probably know social media is a big deal. It's becoming a big deal across the world, and every day it seems to be growing in popularity and in influence. Now, Facebook is the big one at the moment. Everybody around the world knows about Facebook, and some people spend most of their lives, it seems, on Facebook. Our own ATV Facebook page has just reached the milestone of 10,000 likes. And we know from the traffic on there that every day people are logging on, sharing pictures, sending messages, connecting with friends and family. It really is a big deal. Now, what about Twitter? Some of you may not be particularly familiar with Twitter. Now, Twitter is a different kind of social media. Twitter, you log on, you follow people, you can follow celebrities, you can follow news websites. In fact, a lot of breaking news happens on Twitter. Now, it's also a great way of promoting debate between people. And one man who wants to seize on that debate in Zimbabwe and try and promote Twitter in Zimbabwe is Nigel Mugamu. Now, Nigel has founded a project called 263 Chat. The aim of the game here is to just get a small amount of people once a week, 
pick a topic, whether it's social issues, litter, bullying, whatever it might be, and just get different people to contribute. Nigel says he wants it to be like the kind of debate you have in your home, in a pub. The only difference here is it's online. Now, Nigel's here to discuss this with us today from his base in Zimbabwe. Thanks for joining us, Nigel. Now, basically, could you put in a nutshell what 263 chat really is? Okay, um, the thing is, 263 chat is something that I um, came up with uh, um, in September. Um, and I, I thought about it, you know, earlier on in the year. And the, big, the biggest issue was just trying to find a time and a day that suited most Zimbabweans. Then, you know, late September, I just thought, you know, why wait? Why, why keep postponing this thing? Um, the, the idea behind it all is just to help change the, uh, the Zimbabwe narrative, you know. Uh, we complain a lot about we don't have local content, uh, you know, our story's not being told, etc., etc. And so, here I was thinking, well, you know what, let people get involved and share their story. So, you know, around various social and national issues. So, you know, we've spoken about, like yesterday, for example, we spoke about bullying. Um, last week, we spoke about indigenization. Uh, the week before that, we spoke about women, you know. So, different issues that touch different, sec you, know, different you know, different facets, I guess, of society. So, um, you know, indigenization, what does it all mean to you? And, you know, as, as I said to you before, um, 263 chat is designed to bring a, a whole bunch of Zimbabweans from all walks of life together to talk about whatever it is we're talking about. So, Nigel, as we've discussed, this all takes place on Twitter. Now, how essential is that specific social networking site? Because it's perfect for this kind of debate, isn't it? It's perfect. You see, unlike Facebook, where you know I might be your Facebook friend, I know your real name, I know personal information about you, um, Twitter, you know, you can you can be anonymous. You know, you set up your little account as Joe Blog, and there you go. You know, and that's all we you know. We just know you as Joe, and you know, um, you, you share your story. You tell you tell us what you think, and it's it's great because you tell us what you really think. Yeah. You see, as opposed to something like Facebook, where you know, you're afraid of admitting which party you're going to vote for, or what you really think about certain issues. I mean. Do you, you know, some people might think, well, women don't need to be empowered. You might not want to say that. You might not want your partner to know that's how you feel. So, <laughs> yeah, then you'd be in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't get, you don't want to get into trouble. So that's how we. Uh, so basically, Twitter is great for. Like, right. it's interesting that you mentioned anonymity there, because this is a kind of debate that hasn't really happened in Zimbabwe before. Are people worried about what the authorities' view is on this? Well, you know, I, I, I got the question, uh, I've been getting the question now for the last couple of days, has anyone come to see you and ask you any questions? And the thing is, you know, the answer is no. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm personally not worried um, about that. Um, I don't think I've started something that is uh, political, you know, it's apolitical. You know, we're talking about everyday issues that affect us. So, you know, sometime in the future we want to talk about litter. You know, I mean, if you want to get me, you know, if you want to come after me or some of us for talking about litter, then, hey, that's, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. 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 You know, we, we're just talking about stuff that we feel we can change. You know, we feel we can come up with solutions. Uh, most of us who are, who, are, who are chatting are not politicians. Most of us don't have political ambitions. But most of us are struggling with litter and bullying at work or bullying with our kids at school or you know and we're trying to find solutions to how can we tackle that and that's really what this is about it's, it's a solution based twitter conversation this project is really starting to get big on an international level the bbc have been interviewing you how big can it really get you know i i personally didn't envisage um talking to you you know i didn't think you'd want to have a conversation with me about this small you know, initiative that I set up. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think, I, I didn't think that far. I was just thinking, gee, we need to just talk, you know, because I, I feel that as a nation, you know, and, and I've often said this, you know, as a nation, we need to have a number of conversations. 
you know, at different uh, different multitude of uh, conversations at different levels, you know. So the politicians need to sit down and talk to other politicians. They need to talk to us, you know. Um, um, you know, people need to, we need to have different conversations at, at different levels. So uh, community leaders need to talk about what's going on in the community. The community itself needs to be heard. You know, what is, what, 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 what's troubling us? I mean, I, I, I run a business in an area where, you know, certain things are going on, like, you know, litter is a problem. Um, you know, sub, you know, water supply is a problem, you know, and, and we talk about all these issues at home, you know, uh, amongst our groups, in the pub, on the bus, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas I, all, all I wanted to do was just to say, okay, continue having the conversation at home. Why not have the conversation with people you don't know? And maybe that way you can come up with other kinds of solutions. And what about the drama? That's what we all really want to know. Have there been any tensions between people on the forum? Have you had to mediate at all? No, there have been. There have been. Um, there, there have been for different reasons. You know, I mean, two six three was 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 you know was created to put blacks and whites and Shonas and developers and you know Indians and mixed race and you know a whole bunch of you know, ordinarily they might not have been in the same room, you know, for whatever reason, you know. Uh, we, you know, we're trying, to, we're trying to put people from this side of the political spectrum and, you know, people have these kinds of different views, the gays and the lesbians, etc., etc. And occasionally you'll get um, heated moments, you know, but that's why I'm the moderator. I'm there to say, well, hey, you know, I see what you're saying, but, you know, it's, the question is this, you know, it let's shows not... people are passionate as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it shows that people are passionate. It shows that people are passionate. Because, you you, you know, by joining the conversation, you know, it, show, it already shows some level of commitment. You know, you've basically blocked Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central African time and say, look, I'm busy doing this. And that's basically what I've had to do. Well, thanks ever so much for joining us, Nigel, and we wish you the best of luck with the project. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to interview. Finally, the Golden Pelsner Harare Golf Open begins today. 46 players will take part in the three-day event, all hoping for a shot at the $25,000 prize. Defending champion Ignatius Moketekete will be hoping to retain his title. If any ATV viewers are heading down to enjoy the golf, Please send us your pictures and we could show them on tomorrow's program. But today's picture of the day is awarded to Mpita Mpande for his brilliant effort. Why not send us your photos at our ATV Facebook page and you could appear on the big screen. Thank you for watching ATV News and have a good evening.